Hello everyone, today in this video we will explain, how to automate this particular website where the form fields keep changing. We will extract the data from this Excel file and enter it into this dynamically changing fields. This is the RPA challenge, and you might get this kind of task to automate during machine tests and the RPA interviews, so in the last video, you have seen how we executed the bot and entered the data into this website. In this video, we will understand the development process of the bot. Before we start, an Excel file needs to be downloaded from the website using the download Excel button here. I have already downloaded it and stored it on my local computer. We need to fetch the data from the Excel file and insert it into the fields shown on the website. So let's get started. This is the Automation Anywhere 8 2019 control room. We need to have all the commands between the start and end commands. So, I will start by opening the Excel using open command under the advanced Excel section. In order to open the Excel file which we have in the local machine, drag the open Excel command and drop it over here. You can enter any session name as you wish, but for now I will leave it as default. To select the file name, we have three different options. Select file from control room, select a file from desktop, or assign a file path using the variable. As I have my file on my computer, I will select the desktop file and click on the browse button to select the file. Once you select the file, you can enter the sheet name in this field. As I have only one sheet in my Excel file, I will leave it as default. Then click on this checkbox to specify that your sheet contains headers. Click on apply to save the actions. In the next step, we need to get the data from the Excel and store it into a variable of type table. In order to get the data, I will use get multiple cells command from the action window. We need to maintain the same session name throughout. After that, we need to select the cell range. I'm going to select all rows as we need entire data. Then we need to create a variable to hold the data from Excel, in a table format. I will keep the variable name as vtable and select the variable. Click on apply to save the actions. Once we get the data from the Excel, we need to close the Excel file using close command under advanced Excel. As of now, we have our whole data from Excel in a tabular formatted variable. To get data from each cell, we need to loop through this vtable variable. I will use this loop command to loop through the table. We have different options for the iterator. In our case, as we have the table variable, we will select for each row and table iterator. Then we need to select our table variable. To assign the current row, we create a variable of type record. We will name it as vRow. Click on apply to save the actions. Once we have the loop, we need to start capturing the fields from the website to enter the data. We need to start the recording of the website fields using this record command. Once we click on the record command, we will get a window where we have to select the desired browser window. I will select this RPA challenge window from this drop down list and then click on start recording. The recorder will take you to the selected page to record the required actions. We will select one of these fields for recording. Once we click on it, the recorder will get the information of that particular field. Now, we will click on the stop recording button to stop the recording. Now we can see that recorder has generated a code. We can see the entire property list of the selected HTML control. We will uncheck all these properties from the property window and will keep only the DOM XPath property. As we can see, this XPath contains the ID of the input element. In our case, the ID of the website keeps changing when we load the website each time, so this will cause the failure of the bot. In order to fix this issue, we need to generate a dynamic XPath that remains constant. So let's go to the website to get the XPath expression. Earlier we had selected this input field. So let's open the inspect window and paste the XPath expression which is extracted by bot. As we see, it points to the right element on the page. But the problem is, when the ID gets changed, the bot will not be able to fetch the element. So what we can do for this? To resolve this issue, we need to take the help of the label placed right above the input field so that we can target the input field right after the selected label. So let's write the XPath of the label. 
here we go, we got the X path of the label. Now, in order to target the input field, we will use the following axes followed by two colons and input. As we can see on the inspect window, we are getting all the input fields for this X path expression. To target the input field right next to the label, we will set the index as 1. So now we got the right input field. Let's copy this XPath expression and paste it in our code. Once we are done with this, we need to specify what data has to be entered in the input field. As we are fetching the data from the Excel file, we need to insert a variable which holds the first name. In the previous step, we have already created a variable called vrow to hold each row from the Excel sheet. So we will select the vrow variable from the list, and we will select by name option to specify the header of the column. Let's enter the first column header and insert the variable. Click on apply to save the action. So we have captured our first control and specified the data. So let's see if the bot works fine for the first record. Let's save the task and click on run. We will run the bot to make sure if it's working fine. As you see, the bot is able to get the data from the Excel and enter into the specified input field. Finally, we have completed the recording of the first field on the website. We will be doing the same steps for the rest of the input fields on the web page. As you can see, I have already taken the XPath expression of the input fields from the website for the video purpose. We will be using this XPath expression for the rest of the input fields. We will copy this XPath, and copy the recorder command. Let's paste this XPath expression over here. Now let's change the variable to the last name. Click on apply to save the action. Let's continue the same steps for the rest of the commands. Alright, we have completed the recording of all the input fields given on the web page. Now let us record the submit button. We will click on the record option to capture the record button. Select the window name, and start recording. Let's capture the submit button and, click on the end recording option. Now, let's change the absolute X path to the relative X path. Now, we will open the inspect window and paste the absolute X path of the submit button. Let's get the type of the button, that is, submit, and, generate the XPath expression. Let's copy the XPath and paste it in our code. Let's uncheck all other properties from the property window. Click on apply to save the action. Now, let's move the submit button command inside the loop, so that our bot can click on the submit button for each record. Let's save the task before running it. In order to automate this kind of task, you should have a good knowledge of XPath. You can refer to some tutorials on Google or YouTube to learn about the XPath expression. We will upload a new video on XPath expression in the upcoming sessions on our channel. Now let's run the bot and see if it working as expected. So now you can see how perfectly the bot is filling all the form fields, even though the position of these fields are getting changed after each submission. So that's how you can automate a website where the form fields and properties keeps changing. Alright, that's all from our side today, I hope you find this session informative and if you have any further queries related to this session, then please post it in the comment section below. Thank you.